This demonstration covers the basics of the Oxygen's XSLT debugger usage. We'll start with a small project containing several XML and XSL files. You can begin the debugging process using either a debugging scenario or by switching directly to the debugger perspective and setting all parameters manually. In this demonstration, we'll focus on creating a debugging scenario since this allows us to set up a debug environment which we can easily reuse every time we want. Click the Debugging Scenario button from the toolbar. Scenarios are often associated with a specific file and since no scenario is defined for the current editing stylesheet, Oxygen displays a dialog box that allows us to set up one. We'll click the New button and from the drop list we'll choose XSLT transformation. First, we'll configure the paths to the input files. Oxygen assists you in choosing the input and suggests the available XML and XSL files. For the XML we'll choose a specific file, which in our case is personnel2.xml and for the XSL we'll use Oxygen's suggestion the current file URL editor variable to refer the current edited stylesheet. We'll set Saxon 9 as transformation engine. A complex transformation may need additional resources like parameters, extensions and additional stylesheets. We notice that our stylesheet declares a parameter. After clicking the parameters button, Oxygen detects the declared parameter. Now we'll set a value for table title parameter and we can start the debugging process. In the debugger perspective, the XML files are placed in the left side pane, while the XSL files are added in the right side pane. The files used in the scenario are selected by default. Oxygen offers full control over the XSLT debugging process by providing actions like step into, step over, step out, run, run to cursor, run to end, pause, and stop. From the toolbar buttons, you can easily change the XML and XSL sources and the transformer type used for debugging. The next set of buttons allow you to configure the parameters and extensions for the debugging process, enable the profiling mode, enable the HTML rendering of the transformation output, enable the output to source mapping stack, and provides access to the debugging preferences page. Now we are ready to start the debugging process. We'll run the debugger step by step. Additional views offer you information essential in the debugging process. You can also add breakpoints to pause the debugger in certain areas of interest. This allows us to inspect the internal state of the processor, variables, current XML context or execute XPath expressions. Every time you hit run, the debugger process will stop at the breakpoint line. And this concludes our demonstration. Thanks for watching.